All right, cool. Just don't mind my cord, okay? It's not part of my outfit, I promise. All right, so how many volleyball players do we have here? Hands up if you're volleyball. A lot of volleyball. How many basketball? No, track? Basketball, okay. So today we're gonna go over some concepts. And that's the most important thing to understand about jumping, jump technique, and jump training is that it's not just jump a whole lot and you get better at jumping. While there, you might get better at jumping a little bit, what we wanna do is identify if the positions and the shapes you're getting into make sense for producing force and getting off the ground quick. Does that make sense? We can have an, all the strength and power in the world, but if we don't know how to apply that strength or express it, then is it even important to have it? Do you know what I mean? Like, where is our ceiling for potential right now? I think everybody has potential in them that they don't even know yet. And I was working with a handful of you guys, and how many were able to jump a little bit higher with a couple little tweaks? I know I would definitely work with a handful of you guys. Okay, so it was really, really cool to be able to see some quick changes. With jumping, while power and strength play a big role, what plays an even bigger role is speed acceleration. Okay, being able to accelerate through the point of a jump all the way into landing. Jump doesn't finish until you've landed. I think that's the most important thing to understand. It's not just takeoff, you still gotta land. If you're not landing, let me know and I'll come watch you jump because that's pretty cool. But we're gonna, go over, we're gonna go over a handful of drills today that look at things like stability. You guys have heard the word stability before? Okay, so we're gonna be doing some stability drills, but specifically what we call dynamic stability drills, which is stabilizing your body as you move. Okay, so with jumping, we get into a whole bunch of different positions really quickly. But if we can't lock those positions down at that split second, then we're gonna do what's called bleed power just a very visual way of, of showing that you're just losing energy. Okay, we all know what a garden hose is, yeah? This is an analogy that I like to use with my athletes. Garden hose we attach to a water source and the goal is to get as much water from the water source to the end of the hose to your garden or wherever you're watering. What happens if there's holes in the hose? Do we still get water out of the end? Yeah, do we get as much? No. Okay, so if our body is a garden hose and we have a few holes, let's say our ankles, let's say our knees and our hips are a little weak and unstable. When I apply force, am I going to get all the energy out of it? No, I'm going to bleed it. I'm going to leak it out of those holes. So we got to plug up as many of the holes in the garden hose as possible to make sure that we are optimizing our body. Fair enough? Okay. You're like, Tyler, let's get to it already. And I'm like, all right. So we're not going to have you running around and jumping a ton. I'm going to have you hopping around on one foot and you're going to be wondering what's going on. And I'm going to explain it the whole way. Sound good? We got here, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. Okay, seven, I'm just gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, this side, and seven. You are my group A. Group A is gonna make a line, follow me. You're gonna make a line, kind of shoulder to shoulder facing this way. I'm about to lose this mic pack, I can definitely feel that. And let's spread out all the way along the turf here, and I'm gonna get this thing actually on my body. Got it. And group B, I want you mirroring them in behind. And we got some people from the first group that are just want, want their legs to light up again. That's extra reps, that's it. Okay, line up in behind, awesome. First thing we're gonna do, you heard it before, this is good. You know my secrets, first thing we're gonna do, pick your favorite leg. This is my favorite leg. Pick it, stand on it. Doesn't have to be the right leg, just pick your favorite and stand on it. Now I want you to take a look at what the other leg that's hovering off the ground is doing. Is it in front of the body or behind the body? I see a few behind and a few in front. We want that foot to be in front of the other heel. And then we wanna sit and kinda of get comfortable, kinda of soft into that hip and that knee. Bounce around a little bit, play around with the pressure on your foot. Put that pressure forward under the toe, roll back to the heel. See how it changes the stimulus, how it changes the effect in the hip, knee, lower leg, and foot. Hard to balance, isn't it? Good. Set that leg down for a second. Check it out a little bit. What we're going to do here is I'm going to have you in that position, shoulder over hip, hip over ankle, and we're going to take a small hop and then a small balance. Looks like this. Don't go yet. Nice and tall. Little hop, little balance. Little hop, little balance. I promise you I make it look a little easier. I've done hundreds and hundreds of thousands. Maybe that's an exaggeration. I've done a lot of those hops. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have you hop on one foot, 
small hop, small balance, not big hop. I know you're athletes, but don't show me how far you can jump. Show me how controlled you can be. We're going to go on that foot, little hop, little balance, all the way down in line with whatever that thing is. Okay, so first group, you go ahead, nice and tall, little hop, little balance. Go ahead. Good, smaller hop. Stay taller with the shoulders. When they get about halfway, step up, step up here, move forward. Good. When they get about halfway, you guys go right behind them. And then we want to keep addressing a few points. One is going to be where are those shoulders in relation to our hips. The likelihood is, is that a handful of you will end up with the shoulder, head, and chest leading you. And we don't want to lead with the shoulder, head, and chest. We want to keep loaded over top of those hips. And as we land, we want to remain soft, but have a full foot contacting the ground. Good, shake that leg out. How many people found that a little harder than they thought it might be? Yeah, a few. Don't be a shy. It's harder than you thought it was. <laughs> let's take the other leg. Let's do the same thing on the way back. But this time, let's really focus on tall, relaxed shoulders and sitting into that hip. Okay, here we go. Hop, balance, and hold. Make sure you've gotten stable before you initiate your next hop. The last thing we want to do is rush through points of instability because all we're doing is painting over the issue. Go ahead. Little hop, little balance. One foot will probably feel easier than the other, and that's totally normal. Good, making sure we stay into that hip. Very nice. Another good point is, so my man here with the red shoe, um, what we're gonna do is we're kind of like forward on the toe. So sit back, stay tall. And then when you hop, don't swing your arms. Just use your foot. Push. Push. There you go. A little harder there. Good. We want to avoid using momentum as much as possible. That means that when we're hopping from hop to hop, we don't want to see this. Okay, I don't care how far you're going. I'm about to lose this mic pack right now. Sorry. I'm not built out to be a celebrity, it looks like. Okay. Um, we want to make sure that we're initiating the hop through our lower leg. So when we push, we're here, we're tall, and we're driving the ball, the foot into the floor. Here, and hop, okay? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna face the net over here. I want you to take the outside leg, so in this case it's gonna be your left leg. We're gonna take the right one and we're gonna hover it in front just like we did facing forward, and we're gonna take a small hop to the side, and we're gonna stabilize this. Small hop, small balance. Go ahead, let's see it. Yes, this one will most definitely be harder. There we go. There we go. Extra reps all day here. This is great. This is great. There we go. Ready? So stand on the foot. Okay. Keep the shoulder here. Hop from there. Good. Don't end up forward, right? Your body's going to feel like it wants to keep pulling forward. It's like, nope, 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 nope. Stay tall, stay tall. Good. Very good. We want a soft knee. So make sure you're addressing what's happening with your knee. If it's really bent, like if you're really low to the ground, Elevate a little bit more. I want you to extend at the knee a little bit further. Very good. Small hop, small balance. Very good. Once we get back, once that second group gets through, group one's going to step to the front. We are going to face the same direction with the outside leg. Now we're leading with the other foot. Foot in front. There we go. Foot in front. Hop, balance, and that's where we live. We live in this strong, stable position. We are in complete control of the positions our body creates. We just have to put the work in. Okay, here we go, second group. So make sure that that heel is out in front of your foot. Whoop, out here, yeah. And that's okay, is that's very natural for you to wanna to pull it in behind. There's nothing wrong with that, but for the purposes of this training, we need to get it out in front. Very good, small hop, small balance, breathe. There we go, yeah. Very good. Very nice. Little hop, little balance. How are we feeling over here? The legs warming up? Yeah? Awesome, 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 awesome. Okay, we're gonna do one last variation, but we're gonna switch at half and continue on the other foot. So now what we're gonna do is sideways, the same thing we just had, but we're going to hop off of our trail leg. So we're going to hover the, our, our lead leg instead of this way, and we're gonna hop inside foot, Hop, balance, other foot in front. So let's go inside leg. We're introducing a new force. It's going to be in on the knee and ankle. Let's try it out. Go ahead. Good. 
And you know what? Just because I love you guys, we're going to do all the way down and all the way back. We're not going to go half. We're going to do, we're going to get full reps. Go ahead. Here we go. <clears throat> Another thing to take a look at, and this is just be aware. Like, don't stop and stare at yourself. It's be aware of what's happening with your shoulders. Are you dipping your body to the side to get momentum, or are you staying tall? We want to remain tall on every hop, every contact. This will reinforce positions necessary to impart and sustain new shapes on contact. Very good. Hop balance, sit, sit up and back over those hips. Up and, there we go. Perfect. Okay, this is the last one. We're gonna give those legs a little bit of work. Let's hop back, face the same way. Trail leg, hop and hold. Hop and hold, there we go. Sit into the hip. Don't get too stiff through the knee. Here we go. Hop, hold. You could do, honestly, this is what I say. Hop, hold, hop, hold. I got you. Thank you. Hop, you take next group. <laughs> I got next. I got next, he says. You put some work on those KDs, huh? Oh yeah, they're, they're, <laughs> they're trashed, huh? <laughs> Very good. Nice and tall, there we go. Hold that position. Very good, very good. Hop and hold. Okay, at this point, if, if by chance you need a sip of water, you're more than happy to get one. If you don't need one, we're gonna go into our next drill. We're gonna start getting a little bit more dynamic. We're gonna move a little bit more fluidly. We're gonna start looking a little more athletic. We're gonna do...